guys, your boy Rome 300. We're back again on He Smells Like Rome. You've seen the title. We have collected and explored some great new fragrances in 2018. Well, I have, I'm pretty sure you have too. So what I wanna do is show you guys all the fragrances that I purchased or was gifted to me in 2018. Keep the slate clean. Start picking out some dope fragrances for next year. Stay tuned for my annual top 12 to 24 fragrances I picked for 2019. But right now we're gonna focus on the fragrances that I got. So it's gonna be very quick. Pretty much 85% of these fragrances I've already reviewed, so you'll be able to check them out on my channel if you want to go and search where they at. So let's start it up. Y'all already know how I do. I'm gonna try my best to show y'all. And I did, I, I researched a lot. I, I've done, you know, trying to go in places where I know they are really good fragrances. The brands are not so popular, but they got some really great uh, perfumers behind the brand to create some extravagance, some exotic fragrances that, you know, might excite you. So here we go. All right, we're gonna start off with one of my first purchases for 2018 and it was in number one at my uh, top fall fragrances and this is Shikwea from Fuewea. This is one of the best uh, cocoa, boozy, chocolate, um, gourmand fragrances but slightly powdery. Great fragrance for the fall and an excellent conversation piece because there's nothing on the market that smells like this. So, Shikuela from Fueguea, 1833. Guys, definitely gotta check that one out. That was purchased, I think, in February. I think I got that one. Um, next up, I uh, purchased, um, I was searching for some barbershop fragrances. This was the year for me that I wanted to explore more of the the uh, barbershop, the lavender, shebra type fragrances. And this one, Satorial from Penhaligon. It was one of the ones I picked up. Got a great deal on this. And it's classy, smells like fresh barbershop and also it has this denim kind of effect where it sounds like, like a, a new tailored suit. So it has the kind of denim smell but also the lavender barbershop clean smell that goes along with it. So this one was a must buy. Smell this when I went to, what was that? I was in um, a ah, shaving place. I can't remember the name. I'll put the link up but I'll, I'll show you a picture of what I'm talking about. But it's where you go and get shaving cream and all that stuff. And they have how to get in their store. So man. One of the best barbershop fragrances on the market. Hands down, definitely check that one out. Uh, next one I got was another actual barbershop fragrance. It was something that I smelled on this dude. He was walking past me and we were in um, at my job and kind of hanging out and he walked past me. I think it was in the elevator. And I was like, yo, what is that you got on? And he was like, Stetson. Of course, I had no idea what what the fuck Stetson was because, I mean, I don't wear, you know, designer fragrances that much and I don't wear, you know, these 1980s, 70s type, type fragrances pretty much at all because they kind of are dated. But when I smelled this, it wasn't dated, but it just brought back this whole nostalgia of this old school barbershop smell, but it was heavy on the lavender, but also heavy in this uh, kind of soapy smell. Ah. Stetson, you guys know it, probably love it or hate it, but it was one of my, I had to get it. It wasn't even expensive. I think it was like $25 for 100 mil. <sighs> Give me that. So Stetson was, I got that one I think in maybe March or April. And then I hit up this guy. I saw him online. Um, Steven was uh, talking about some of his fragrances. And we, was, we were talking prior to that, the year before, in 2017, and he basically, his name is Vincent, he owns the company, um, uh, Dream House uh, Curio Perfumes, 
and we met before kind of in New York. We, Stephen was, me and Stephen saw each other in New York somewhere and he was with Stephen and we crossed paths, shook hands, how you doing, blah, 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 and that was it. And he remembered who I was because I hit him up on Instagram and said, hey, y'all want to check out your fragrances, let me know what's up. Lo and behold, Homeboy sent me not samples, but three fragrances and these are the three. Sent Ghost Dance. He sent me a fellow. And he sent me Orange Sunshine. And to be honest, he will always have me as a customer because this was just generous. He shouldn't have, didn't have to do this. I was happy that he did and was much appreciated. And in my opinion, this fragrance, Armour Sunshine, is the best release of from my pick or my my purchase or anything that I smell 2018. This is the best fragrance. The best summer and night fragrance you'll ever smell. Best fragrance in 2018 in my opinion. Um, with that said, he also did another solid for me, and he sent me a fragrance, and it wasn't for me, this is actually for my wife. He asked me, I told him my wife, is, uh, our anniversary is coming up, our birthday is coming up, and he was like, yo, I'm going to do something for you, I'm going to send you some samples, see if she likes it, let her smell it, tell me if she might like it. He made my wife her own personal fragrance. And my wife is the AKA, and the dude literally made a bottle, pink and green, with the ivory on it. Come on, man. Vincent, still must appreciate it, bro. You're the best. So I gave that to my wife for a 10 year anniversary and also her birthday, which was in June. Let me go a little faster. Next up, I got a fragrance. I started looking online on Instagram again. Fragrance from a company called Oud Factory. Oud Factory sent a message. Guy said, I know who you are. His name is Adam. He said, I'm going to send you a sample. Sent me samples of his line. Also sent me four mil Oud fragrance. I did a review on this one. I was blown away. This is called Dear Soul. Absolute gorgeous Oud spicy fragrance. I was so impressed, I had to buy another one, but I wanted something sweet. Said I got one for you, purchased it. This one's called, I think it's Track or Trapped. Gorgeous, another one, a little bit more on the sweet side, but not as strong as the other one, but still beautiful oud based oils. And also, my first two oud based oils. I really never had anything like that. So we got June, June again, July. Father's Day, my wife gifted me with this beautiful fragrance right here, and that is, this is Italian Leather by Memo Paris. Oh man, I was excited, I wanted something dope, I wanted something new, and she hooked me up with that. Love you babe. This was actually a fragrance I did not like when I first smelled it, and then it grew on me as I kept wearing the sample, and then I said, once you know I'm going to get it, I went to Virginia, and they had it in a perfume store there, picked it up. And last but not least, I think this is the last one. This was also a gift to me. This was, I was asking one of these ladies, she lives in, uh, um, she's from Ethiopia, and I wanted to smell some fragrances that they get there, and she said, I'm send you something she picked up this from a kiosk in there I'm not sure where she got it from but this is like a musk and a uh, soapy musk if that makes any sense but it's a oil it's like maybe 20 mil sit two dabs this, this shit will last you all day and that's pretty much it man this is I got a couple samples of travel sprays but I'm not gonna put that in there I wanted to show you guys the actual bottles that I got for uh, this whole year. And it's been an exciting year, fun year for me. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. 2019 is upon us. We are now in a new year. We're going to 
you know, do it up even better than last year. More content, better reviews. I'm just gonna bring it up another level, guys, just for you guys. And those who've been rocking with me for this far, I appreciate you. So, next video will be most likely my top 10 winter fragrances, so stay tuned for that. And like I always say, guys, it's okay if you want to smell like Rome. I'll check you guys out in the next video. Thanks for rocking with me. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to get more information on when I shoot videos. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video also, guys. Until next time, peace.